This is Dr. Leah Brillman. I'm standing on a National Turfgrass Evaluation Program trial at Oregon State University. Included in uh, any INTEP trial are cultivars that are called standards, and this allows us to compare the data from one INTEP to another because we can look at how the standards move, change in performance from one trial to another. Lynn here is the old land race cultivar that um, was produced in Oregon. It has very poor mowing quality. It's very stimmy and um, very light green. And if you actually look at it, you can see the density is not very good on it. These two cultivars here, Bright Star SLT and All Star 3, are other cultivars that are included as controls. They were in um, four to three um, INTEP cycles ago, ago. Each cycle set of data lasts approximately five years. So they may be 15 years old as far as cultivars. And, but they're definitely improvements over Lynn, but they're not as good as some of the newest material we are bringing on the market or have recently brought on the market. This trial is a perennial ryegrass trial. Um, it's mown at two inches here, and they take data on two different sets of data on this trial. Um, on each plot, there is a portion that they've been running traffic on it to look for wear tolerance and um, the other half is non-traffic, so you're looking at just standard turf quality in the Pacific Northwest. Um, if you look at them, in the trials we've got um, actually marked the back half of each trial where the sign is, which shows what the cultivar is, has been the traffic side of this particular trial. So it looks for performance, of um, perennial ryegrasses in this environment with and without traffic in the, our newest cultivars. Um, if you look here, you can see we've got uh, marked, there's a couple new ones that have excellent density and um, have had very good performance with traffic on them. And it includes our new one, SR4700 and um, All Star 4. A few of these others that are marked here that have actually had very good performance here also, they will be coming available also in the next few years. You can look at data, it's publicly available at www.ntep.org.